Welcome to this demonstration of Frame Generator and NAS Train NCAD working together to validate this weld frame for the ASCA workstation. Autodesk has developed a seamless workflow to analyze the structural members without having to manually specify the cross-sectional size. Also choose the items to exclude from the study right in the NAS Train model tree. Then describe the behavior of the design using boundary conditions. How is the frame held down? And where is the load? In this case, we will simulate the static load, or weight of the robot arm which is fastened at the top of the weldment. The mesh will then apply the cross-sectional properties of the steel tubes and run the analysis which happens almost instantaneously when using line elements. We then have access to several types of plots such as stress and displacement. Beam elements not only solve extremely fast, they also provide unique plots for axial force and stress, as well as beam diagrams for understanding the moment on each element. Here you can see the highest tension and compression using maximum and minimum stress plots. After viewing the plots, it is clear that the structure is overbuilt. Perhaps we can get away with a smaller tube size to save money on material costs. Remember that everything you are doing is in one CAD design environment. As we make changes, they will reflect in the analysis as well. Let's try 80 mm tubes with a slightly smaller wall thickness for the selected objects. The advantage here is everything we did in the analysis setup remains intact. After changing the size, the cross-sectional properties are automatically applied to the updated mesh. Simply rerun the analysis and determine whether your engineering requirements are satisfied. Beam elements are a great way to try several ideas in a short amount of time as opposed to meshing the weld structure with solid elements which can take several minutes to solve. Autodesk NAS Train NCAD makes working with structural members faster and easier than ever.